right, thanks so much for joining. So now I'm gonna show you how you can create a little bit more of a formal certificate of appreciation rather than the certificate of achievement that I created for the sports team. Um, <clears throat> we use this to thank our vendors for donating to our school for various events. So I do have a number of other videos on my channel in terms of creating a certificate of achievements, um, Santa tags, candy wrapper labels. Uh, please feel free to watch any and all of my videos, subscribe to my channel, and or like this video if you did find it useful. All right, <clears throat> so to create this, the very first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is go to File, New, Blank Document. We want to go to Page Layout, and we want to go to Orientation and Landscape, and we want to change our margins to narrow, and this just gives us a little bit more real estate to work with. The very next thing we're going to want to do is go up to um, a browser, and I click Google if you want to use Bing or Yahoo or any other search engine, feel free, and um, type in Certificate Border, and then you can click on Images, and there's a, a myriad of um, borders that you can use here and the one that I went ahead and downloaded and used is right here so we can go ahead and click on that and then if we right click we can do save picture as certificate border template for word and that's what we want and we went ahead and save that so now <clears throat> we want to go to document 5 or our new document and we want to click on insert picture and we want to insert our border that we just in, um, downloaded so from here, if you try to move this around, you can't. So what you want to do is either click in here for layout options and click in front of text, or you can right click and do wrap text in front of text. And now we can very easily move this picture around. Um, <clears throat> I went to the dollar store and um, purchased certificate frames for a dollar, if you can believe it. <laughs> and um, I measured the inside of the frame, so I know that I want the um, end of the border to fit in a 7.75 by 10.25. And that is gonna fit pretty perfectly in the frame that I purchased. So um, what I wanna do is just make this slightly smaller. And I can see up here um, the exact dimensions. So I can go ahead and see this is 7.75 by 10.24 should fit fine. It's just one pixel off, okay? And again, you can see that by clicking on format and um, the width and height of the shape, okay? So now you wanna go ahead and click that till you see that little green X and you know that's centered in the middle of the paper, okay? Uh, next thing I wanna point out is our school colors are blue and white, so we wanna change the border instead of the green, we wanna make it blue. So we wanna go ahead and click on format, we wanna click on color, and we want to click on this blue or we could click on this blue okay <clears throat> now we have our blue border okay now we want to write in our certificate of appreciation so we are going to insert a text box and we're going to draw a text box okay and um, we obviously don't want this sort of white text box to be in here so we want to click on format we want to do a shape fill of no fill and a shape outline of no outline. You can click on no outline and the shape fill of no fill, okay? So from here, we wanna type in certificate of appreciation. <clears throat> and we can go ahead and highlight that, click on home, center that. And we wanna right click and actually spell appreciation correctly. <laughs> highlight that and we want to put in our certificate font. Now, if you do not have a certificate font on your laptop or your um, computer, <clears throat> please download and install the certificate font. Um, it's free, there's a myriad of font sites out there that have that. If you don't know how to do that, I have a video on fonts, fonts, and more fonts on downloading and installing and searching for fonts. So again, this is the certificate font. And then from here, <clears throat> we wanna click on format and we wanna click on text effects. And we wanna transform and we want to arch up, okay? And um, that looks about right um, based on the text box. You can play with the text box in terms of the arches by this holding onto this pink square in the middle, or you can make this bigger or smaller via um, sort of the text box, but this is pretty perfect for what we want. Okay, next thing we wanna do is insert another text box and we wanna 
draw that right there. We want to center that. And we are going to format this and do a shape fill of no fill and a shape outline of no outline. And we want to write this certificate is presented to colon and we want to spell presented right. And we want to go to home and we want to center that. And then we can just do a new line and we want to write Jet City Pizza. It was fantastic to work with. And we want to use the Casteller font. And this is size 48. And we can make this bigger so it fits on one line. Center that. And then we can just do a couple inserts there. And we want to make <clears throat> this an 18 point font, okay? Um, and then finally, we can use this same text box and we want to make this a 24 point font and we are going to use California FB and we're going to write in appreciation for participating in Eastgate Elementary's 2016 Family Fun Night and Carnival. All right, clearly we have a lot of spelling. Elementary's Family Fun Night, there we go and we can make that bigger. There we go, so it fits on two lines and we can once again center that, okay? Uh, and we do want to highlight this text and we want to make that italicized. There we go. All right. Um, now, finally, if we go back here, all we need to do is the presented by Eastgate Elementary and then our two logos. So from here, we can go ahead and do an insert text box, draw a text box. And we could write presented by colon. And again, we want to make this California FB, italicize, and this is an 18 point font. And we want to take this text box, obviously, make do that format and do a shape fill of no fill and a shape outline of no outline. And again, that was pre-selected because that was my last, but you do shape fill of no fill and a shape outline of no outline. And then from here, we can just do the underscore to get that line. Alternatively, we could have um, absolutely did an insert shape and insert a line, but the underline is just as easy. And again, the underline is holding down the shift key and pressing the underline next to the zero. From here, we can right click and do a copy, do a couple spaces, right click and do a paste. And then from here, we can just add some spaces and then we can um, do a paren Eastgate Elementary's PTA Carnival Chair and Eastgate Elementary's Carnival Chair and we want to highlight this and we want to go to home and we want to make this a 14 point font and that is italicized and we can center that a little bit more by pressing some spaces and we want to highlight this and we can right click and say copy and we can do once again a paste and just use some spaces and we can just move all this down all right, finally, all we need to do is put in our Jet City Pizza and or Eastgate Elementary. So we can go back here and write in Jet City Pizza 
and we can click on images and we can click on here and we can right click and do a save picture as logo we'll change this to three just so we know and then we can go ahead and type in east gate element pta and we can click on images and we can right click and do save picture as and we could type in skate logo okay now we can go back to our certificate and we can do a we want to click outside to be sure nothing is selected because if we have a shape or a image selected and we do an insert while that shape or image is selected a lot of times it will insert on top of the shape so it will delete the current shape and insert the new shape so we want to do an insert picture and let's do our eastgate logo and um, what we want to do is go to layout options and do in front of text and the reason why that um, was there was because it was be being put behind that image so again we want to say in front of text okay and then we want to do an insert picture <clears throat> and let's do our jet city pizza logo three and once again we want to click in front of text and then from here we can make this smaller just by dragging and dropping and we want to make that sort of aligned there <clears throat> and that's it that's how you can very easily create this more formal certificate of appreciation using nothing but microsoft word in a browser um, if you did like this video or find it useful, please like this video. And again, um, I do have a number of other videos on YouTube. Um, feel free to watch them. Uh, again, and I add a new video a week. I also monitor the chat logs. So please um, feel free to post questions or suggestions. Thanks so much.